Hey everyone, Shelly here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I wanna go over with you a few different ways that you can create vertical videos from your widescreen videos. So first of all, a couple things that you wanna keep in mind. One is your framing, because if I'm super close to the camera and I'm gonna slice right down the middle, which is usually one of the easiest things to do, then you're gonna have a really giant face, head, close in shot and there's not as much that you're going to be able to do except for maybe not have it be as wide maybe throw a bokeh in the background and that's going to be another thing that i'm going to show you as well so let's go ahead and get started here is a wide clip in a 16 by 9 and the first thing we're going to do is go into your camera roll of all things and any of your phones should be able to do this i will be demonstrating with an iphone it can be the same with an android as well if you have no other graphics and you do intend to just use the raw video and edit from there, one of the easiest things that you can do is go into your photo editing app and then you'll hit the resize option or crop option, which looks like this little icon here in the corner. And then the next thing you're, you're gonna do is make sure that you change it from the widescreen orientation that you might be in into a tall orientation. Usually most platforms for vertical video are gonna be a nine by 16. So we're gonna select nine by 16. And once you do that, you're going to see it crop in and you'll just be able to you know, squeeze and pinch if you wanna zoom in a little bit. But for the most part, you're just gonna go right down the center or wherever you happen to be on screen. And that's another thing why you wanna keep in mind your framing. Now, if you want to use a video editor, one of the nice things about Final Cut Pro is you can actually duplicate a project and hit the duplicate project as, and then you can hit the button for smart conform. It will try to take what it believes is the most important thing and keep it in the center. Of course, if you're moving around a lot, it's not always going to catch everything. So you're probably going to have to go in and fix it with additional keyframes, but this is definitely a better starting point than if you were to start from scratch. The next way you can do this is to open up Keynote. Yes, I mean Keynote. Open up any kind of presentation, doesn't matter. Select everything on screen, delete it. Go into the formatting option. We're gonna format our slide and change it from a 16 by nine or a four by three, whatever it might be into a vertical into the 1920 by 1080 orientation. Then I'm gonna go ahead and shrink down this size so you can see more of what's going on on screen. Take your video file that you wanna slice down the center of and drag it on top of, and then go ahead and stretch it so that it maintains the height that you want for this. Now you can also do your own background. You can add text type of stuff here with special effects. You can do whatever you want and then go into the export button and export this as a movie. And then you'll be able to have a vertical video as well from Keynote for free. Next up, we're gonna use trusty InShot. Go ahead and select a new video, select your widescreen video. Make sure the canvas size you've selected is a nine by 16 orientation. From there, you'll be able to choose your background and if you want it to be a blur, a photo, some other photo that you have from your own library and you can vary the amount of Gaussian blur on it. You can also hit zoom here and expand how big you want the zoom to be. You can use the slider or you can just pinch and zoom with your finger and this makes it really, really easy for you to also reorient all of your vertical videos. Now, if you do find yourself in a situation where you have sliced down the center, but there are times when you're moving about and you need to be able to move it, let's go ahead and go into a video editor. You can do this in iMovie, and I have a video on how you can edit vertical video in iMovie if you've missed it. I will link it up here in the i and down below. Otherwise, we'll be using Final Cut Pro for this. Once you have your video inside of your editor and your vertical video project, make a slice and you can then move the item manually or the second item to make it flow a little bit is going to be to use keyframes. And so that is just going to slide over that perspective so you can see it and keep what you want in the center of your frame. Now this technique is a little bit more advanced, but this is the one you're gonna use if you do have a subject moving about and you wanna keep them inside a frame and cutting down the middle or straight in that nine by 16 orientation from your widescreen video isn't going to cut it with one single crop. 
Next up, we'll try Descript. You all know how much I love Descript. And all you have to do is start a new sequence and then you can change the orientation and your canvas size into a nine by 16. And then after you do that, drag in your video file, just like we have with all of the others. You can enter crop mode, add any perhaps on-screen captions that you want to, and you can totally go to town with this and then export and publish just like you would any other social video. Okay, the last thing I wanna cover with you is what happens if you have a video that if you do create a nine by 16, it is just way too close because the shot is way too tight and you didn't have enough frame around you to cut and have it be natural. Well, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and show you something inside of Final Cut Pro. You can do the same inside of iMovie. If you want a tutorial, I could show you how to do it, but it would just be a separate one. Um, comment that down below if you want that and I will make it. But in here, the easiest thing to do is take your clip and then zoom out on it and to a point where you feel fairly comfortable with it. If it only takes up three quarters of the screen, so be it. You can move it up or down. Just make sure that you have it wherever you like. Then we're going to take this clip. We are going to duplicate it. And then the item on the bottom, you're going to make sure you expand it to fill the top and bottom. Now it is going to look a little bit funny because you have two videos going at the same time with two audios going at the same time. So step number one, you're gonna take one of the two audios, doesn't really matter which one because they're copies of one another, and mute it. Or you can detach audio and get rid of the audio altogether. It's fine to also just drag down the volume bar. The second thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna search for an effect called Gaussian Blur. So I just usually go into the effects panel and I will look for GAU, I'll start typing that in. I will drag that onto the bottom clip and then I will just apply a little bit of blur to it so that it looks more like that bokeh effect that you see on a lot of videos. Now you can also do this inside of CapCut and it will do it for you and you can decide how much blur you're gonna have, which is also really, really great. Then the next thing that you can do is in that dead space, you can have room for things either like captions or you know your location or products that you used. I'll have a little example here of what I did when I had filmed a widescreen video and I decided to do a vertical video for it over on the beauty channel and then I just listed the brushes that I used. Those are a few quick tips on how to get the most out of your horizontal videos and repurpose them into vertical videos. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.